Okay, first off, we want to welcome everyone here today to Bayonne High School uh, for our senior signing spring edition. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Nice for being here. He has a meeting um, at 10.30 uh, regarding some other issues. So, Mr. Nice, thank you for stopping by here to see our athletes. I appreciate it. I want to thank all of Central Office Board of Education members that are here today. I want to thank parents for coming all of our teachers and coaches, and most of all, congratulations to our student athletes that are here today, and congratulations to all. Um, before we get started, we do just wanna say that our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Texas and really every school community in the United States right now, uh, and our prayers are with everyone there and every school district because that is a tough day for all educators and students. So I just wanna relay that message from everyone here at Bayonne High School and the Board of Education. Um, in saying that, I think uh, this is such a proud day for everybody, for our parents, for our coaches, for our school system, and, and for parents, all of the hard work is paid off. I know every sport now seems like it's a 12-month program, and what you're doing in the summer, what you're doing in mornings, after school, it never ends. So this is why you do it, and coaches, congratulations, and there are a lot of reasons why we coach and why we do this but I do think that this is really number one, to move our kids on to college, uh, to play sports and get an education. So congratulations to all the coaches here today. Uh, student athletes, there are only six or 7% of high school athletes that go on to play in college. So you are at the top of the top, so I congratulate you all. Your work does not go unnoticed by anyone here at Bound High School or the Board of Education. Uh, it's a credit to you, your teachers, your coaches, and your families. So once again, uh, from me personally, uh, congratulations, and from the Bayonne Board of Education, congratulations. Uh, I am speaking on behalf of Mr. Baccarella from the Board of Education side and Dr. Pearson today from the athletic side, uh, who cannot be here today, but also wish best of luck to everyone and congratulate the parents. Um, with that being said, we're going to get to our program right now. So we are going to just go in order uh, from our list. We'll call up the coach, a couple words about the student athlete. Then we'll bring up the parents for a quick picture. Then we'll go back and move on. After everybody's done, we'll have time for parent pictures, family pictures. We'll get all of our teammates back in the pictures. So with that being said, we're going to start off with baseball. Coach Hoffman will come up for Josh Bermunez. So Josh, if you could come up. Parents can hold right now, Josh. Thank you, Mr. Rickert. Uh, I want to congratulate all the signees today, all the players and the future college athletes. Congratulations on the, all the uh, hard work that you've put forth for this opportunity today. So it's well deserved and all the coaches, thank you for all you do for your student athletes. I uh, just want to introduce Josh Bermudez, four year player for us at Bayonne High School, our baseball program. He's one of our catchers. He also uh, DHs for us, plays the outfields, having a very good season for us. We have some important games left, and we hope he can impact us in, in a positive way. So without further ado, Josh will let us know where he's going to attend school next year. Uh, I'll be continuing my academic and athletic career at uh, Prince George Junior College in uh, Longo, Maryland. Uh, I'd like to thank my play, uh, coaches, parents, family for everything they've done for me these last four years. And uh, yeah, very excited about this, and yeah. Thank you, Josh, congratulations. Okay, thank you. Any parents or any family here for Josh, if you wanna come up for a picture? Okay, we'll come up for a quick picture. Sit down, David. Yeah, come on up. Come 
Congratulations, Josh. Best of luck. Uh, next up, we're going to bring up uh, Coach Maggio in the softball, uh, who also have another big game coming up tomorrow, county championship versus Weehawken, 5 o'clock. So we'll turn the mic over to Coach Maggio. Uh, so first, congratulations to everybody who's here today. Um, and the first senior who I'm going to call up is uh, Suzelle. Uh, she's been a three-year player for us. Uh, she transferred over from Marist, and she's done great things on the mound for us, and we're hoping tomorrow that she helps us again. <laughs> Suzelle, <laughs> please announce where you will be attending school. I'm glad to announce that I'll be attending LaSalle University to continue my academic career. Nice job. <laughs> uh, if you want to come up, bring any family members up. We'll take a quick picture. Congratulations. We're going to bring you back. <laughs> well, we'll do that at the end. We'll do, we'll do all of them at the end, okay? okay. All right. Next. Um, our next player that we'll be calling up is Mia Bermudez. Uh, she's been a four-year starter for us since her freshman year. Uh, she currently leads the state in hits right now and has also amassed 100 hits uh, on her career. So, Mia, congratulations on that. And please announce where you are starting your career. <laughs> Uh, I just want to thank my coaches and my family for helping me through this process. I'm glad to announce I'll be continuing my academic and athletic career at Caldwell University. Congratulations, Congratulations Mom. Our last senior that we will be calling up is Gabriela Diaz. She is a four-year starter for us as well. Um, she has amassed over 300 strikeouts. She is a two-time, three-time pitcher of the year. Uh, hopefully she'll be pitcher of the year again this year and do big things for us tomorrow. So Gabriela, come on up. Um, I would be glad to announce that I will be continuing my softball and academic career at Herkimer College. Okay, I got this up. You take that. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll bring you back at the end. Good job. Okay, let's, once again, good luck to our softball team tomorrow in the county championship. Good luck, girls. Uh, at this time, we're going to bring up Coach Harris is going to come up. Uh, Coach Paris could come up. We have uh, Marcus here right now, still waiting for Christian. Marcus. Coach Otis Harris. Marcus right here has been a four-year player, very athletic. Uh, grades are good. He's going to college. Um, so congratulations on everything, and do your thing. All right, with that being said, I will be taking my academic and uh, football skills to Utica University. Congratulations. Stay here, Joe. I'm going to go to you right now. 
Okay, at this time, we are going to also bring up wrestling. Coach Harris is here. Coach Luciani, um, who was our head coach last year, he has stepped down, and Coach Harris will be taking over next year. I wish them both luck in their future endeavors. Coach Luciani's still going to be involved with our youth wrestling, though, so uh, we got a good guy here in, in Jerome, so take it away here. All right, uh, first off, I'd like to thank everyone uh, you know, for coming today, all the parents. I know it takes time out of your day. I would also like to congratulate all the future athletes, uh, for all of us who have been athletes in the past, to get to where you are, where you go play at the collegiate level. Everyone knows the amount of time and effort it takes, not only from the student, but the parent, the amount of time a parent puts into their child uh, to get to where they are, it, it's a lot. Uh, and I, can, I uh, commend you on that. And uh, you know, one of the reasons why I stepped down, because I'm now as a parent in that same situation where I'm raising my child and I see the commitment that a parent needs to put into their child to make them be successful. Uh, with that being said, Coach uh, Otis Harris here is ready to take over, continue on the tradition, continue to build the program, uh, and take it in the right path. I would like to call up uh, our two student athletes, Samaya Elokta. <laughs> Samaya is going to wrestle at NJCU next year. Samaya is the epitome of a trailblazer. Uh, women's wrestling has just recently taken off in the past four to five years. Uh, Bayonne became one of the first programs in the state of New Jersey to start a women's program. Not only did we one of the first ones to start a women's program, we have become consistently one of the top women's program in the state of New Jersey, which is a tremendous accomplishment. We're continually putting in four to five girls at the state level. Uh, where Samaya took it to another level, more so than other females in the past, Samaya started wrestling in the offseason. Samaya started wrestling in the club. Samaya started making contacts at the collegiate level to go wrestle you know, at the second level. Samaya has a bright future. Her hard work put her where she is. Uh, wrestling a, is a niche sport, and, and Samaya, her weight class, there's a lot of competition. It's probably the hardest weight class right where she's at, and Samaya is as good as anyone at that weight class. She is uh, continuing to grow, and I know she's gonna have a bright future at NJCU. Congratulations, Samaya. Parents, come on up. Next, I would like to call up Blessing Daniel. Yes. The, the only way I could describe Blessing is a leader amongst leaders. Blessing has been a four-year starter for us. All right, as besides being a four-year starter and a tremendous athlete, winning more than a majority of his matches, being a captain, Bless has epitomized what we're looking for in a student athlete. Not only is he an A-B student, uh, Blessing has made it a life principle, uh, and I want to say in some ways in a religious and in a, in a caring way, to treat people with respect. And the thing that I will always remember Blessing for was his ability to want to make other people become good people. And that means a lot. It wasn't just, we knew Bless was a great person, everyone around him knew he was a great person. But what he did that made him different from everyone else was that he really took it upon himself, particularly with the freshmen and the younger kids, to make them understand that life is about being a good person, doing things the right way. And if you do things the right way, good things will happen. And I know that's something that he's pushed hard on the team. When you hear him speak before practice, after practice, that was something that he always pushed. Be a good person. Do the right thing. Be a high character person. And if you do that, the rest of the world will take care of itself. And for that, I, I commend you, Bless. You know how much love I got for you. You're one of the best people I ever met. And uh, Bless is also going to NJCU to wrestle. 
Uh, this guy's got a, a bright future ahead of himself, and uh, you know I think he's going to be a lifelong Bayonne. This guy, this guy loves Bayonne, and uh, that's a beautiful thing. So bless, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, Can we call up Blessings family. Congratulations again. At this point, we're going to call up Coach Gamble, boys basketball head coach here at Bound High School. Coach Gamble. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, congratulations to all the student athletes, and congratulations to the parents. Um, you know, for the kids, it's a long, hard journey to uh, achieve uh, academic, uh, athletic achievement, and also academic achievement. So. Uh, I'd like to introduce, and I'm very proudly I'd like to introduce uh, Jake Stevenson, who's been in my program for three years, uh, one year at Maris and two years here at Bayonne, and in my 25 years of coaching, uh, he is like probably like one of the hardest workers, most determined kid that I coached, all right? I think he's well prepared for college. I always knew he can play in college. And uh, at, when the season ended, there was a couple of options out there for him. I think he's making a wise choice, and he's going to be very good. Uh, athletically and academically in college. All right, congratulations. Anybody here from you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Uh, let's get off. Gotta get some bail, dude. Oh, bail? What do you want? Bail? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, at this time we are going to bring up Coach Longo um, and Coach Fidrich, Coach Gordon. You could all come up here and and Carly or Carly Casayas. I'd like to congratulate all the student athletes here. This is truly an accomplishment for all your hard work and dedication. So continued success in whatever college you intend to uh, attend. Uh, these two young men who have made a commitment to uh, continue playing volleyball in college, they are our captains, our leaders of a, a team that is uh, experienced but yet very young. So they've been role models on and off the court. They've worked hard in the off season. So we are not finished. We uh, had a state tournament win yesterday with Milburn. We are traveling tomorrow to Union and I think the best is yet to come. So I hope these two are on board with me again. So I'd like to introduce you to our first one. He is an opposite hitter. He is also a setter. So he plays basically two different positions on the floor, depending on where he is on the floor. He, before pandemic, he was 5'10". <laughs> and then we came back after, pand after the pandemic and he was 6'2". He's still growing, I think, not only as an individual, but as a person. He will attend New Jersey City University next year, our opposite and setter, Alex Casayas. Are you still growing? I hope so. Yeah. Go, go, so we can get the parents. Can you tell? Good. 
Our next player is also an Alex. He is our outside hitter. He is a force to be reckoned with. He's a very smart player on the floor. Sometimes people have trouble with his name. I don't know how he remembered his name as a, a five-year-old. We just call him Zink. Alex Zinkovich, come on down. <laughs> Alex will be attending FDU in the fall. It's easier we'll, just to we'll, say We'll bring you back with the team if you have other teammates you have okay. pictures and all that. Okay, thank you and best of luck uh, to our boys volleyball team, still playing in state. At this time, we are going to bring up Coach Ravatos and the girls' soccer program. Coach. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Today I'm introducing our goalie, Lorraine Valenzuela. She... <laughs> Lorraine is one of the most competitive players that I've had the pleasure to coach. She is a true leader on and off the field. Um, Lorraine had over 100 saves this season, including multiple penalty kicks, which was truly exciting to watch. Um, NJCU is very, very lucky to have such a wonderful student athlete like Lorraine. Yeah, whoever wants it. Yeah, whoever else. Of course. Have a seat. You can sit. Or he'll uh, sit. Okay, absolutely. Okay, yeah. okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll come. If you need more pictures, we'll have time at the end. Okay, I just got a message um, from Ms. O'Donnell. Kayla Cass uh, runs track for us. She's at County Prep. She is not going to be able to attend, but we do want to recognize her and wish her the best of luck. Uh, at this time, we are going to call up Coach Turner, our head girls basketball coach. who had a great year again this year. Congratulations, Coach, and here's the mic. All right, this never gets easy. So to all the student athletes that are going on to college, congratulations. Remember to stay focused, study hard, practice hard, and you'll be successful. Um, the first athlete I'm gonna call up came to Bayonne as a senior, but known her for her whole life, junior Bs, really worked hard. I mean, this season for her was kind of hard, because she had to sit out, so she was tasked with the responsibility of practicing hard every single day, knowing that the next game she wasn't going to play until the certain day. But to me, in my opinion, this is a young lady who, once she became eligible to play, really hit the ground running. And, you know, because she plays a, a sample amount of games, she really was left off a lot of Jersey Journal accolades. So I'm here to tell you what she meant to this program. One, she can't, we didn't do so well last year. We didn't have a good year, shortened season. She's infused into our team. We win the county championship. County championship game, she had 12 points, seven rebounds, five block shots, really controlled the game from start to finish. So for whatever reason, uh, HCIL got rid of the MVP of the championship game. But if there was an MVP of that game, she would have 1,000% got that accolade. So um, for her, to come here and, you know, she's known the girls her whole life, but to, for her to come here and buy into my system, which I'm really not an easy coach to play for, and 
and accept the responsibility and take on and carry it out and go above and beyond says a lot for her upbringing. So parents, I am thank you for letting her come to Bayonne and play for me. So I want to introduce Jalea Smith. All right, so the next young lady, um, uh, three year starter, four year varsity player, um, another one, Junior B, saw her in fifth grade playing, watching the practice. I came up to her and I said, Who are you? She says, I'm Dinka. <laughs> so I said, Okay. I said, Is that what your mom name? She said, No, my mom name was Julissa. I said, All right, Julissa. I said, what are you doing for high school? She says, I'm coming to Bayonne. I said, I got a spot for you. And when I said that to her, the, the look in her face, I said, she's going to be special. And lo and behold, she gets to high school, four year starter, you know, really, really excelled, really was the glue to this team for the two championships that we won. Um, she was always, you know, and I, and I always say, I, I coach every girl differently. I coached, I coached her rough. Like, I, you know, they always say, to whom, whom much is given, much is expected. And I was always on Jalissa. I was on her in, in, for school. I checked her grades. If she missed something, I was on her in practice, always pushing her to be the best. And she accepted every challenge that I threw at her. She always came to practice every day. She, ne she never gave me any lips. She always says, yes, coach. Always, always, you know, great teammate. All her, she has a lot of friends. You know, she has 9,000 Instagram followers, so she's very popular. Um, but she really was one of the, the important pieces to our championship run. So, you know, she, she had a couple of choices, but she decided she wanted to stay close to home. And I'm going to say it again, Julissa, I know the coach at NJCU, and if you, I'm going to ask him about your grades, and you better stay on top of it, because I always tell him grades are important. The ball's going to stop bouncing one day, and you have to have something to fall back on. Um, it's, it's really hard to see her go, because she's one of the, the, one of the girls that really started this run when we, when we weren't doing so well. So I... I thank mom for trusting me and allow her to come here and, and always answer my calls to Texas when she wasn't answering. So, you know, that's important when you have that line of communication when the parents are on board with you. So, Jalissa Moody going on to college, and I'm very, very sad to see her go, but I'm happy to see her mature. Jalissa. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Mom, tell mom to come up. Out, out, out. <laughs> Wait, what do I look at? This one? I'm looking at you, you, then you. Okay, let's have another round of applause for all of our students, athletes, coaches, parents. Congratulations. Like I said, we are going to stay around for some team pictures with coaches, parents, but uh, Ms. Longo just brought to my attention something I think is very important and special. Uh, today at 6 o'clock on Channel 12 News, one of our girls volleyball players, uh, Katie Kozinski, is going to be highlighted as the student athlete uh, for New Jersey at the 6 o'clock news on Channel 12. So uh, great honor and congratulations to that. And we'll try to get that on Twitter so if you have a chance. So at this point, once again, on behalf of Bayonne High School, Board of Education, Central Office, congratulations to all parents, coaches, and kids. Best of luck. You can stay here to take some pictures. We are going to have to exit the building the same way we got in. Um, so just be aware of that. It is 10.30 now. 
we would like to clear the library by 11 for the cafeteria periods because students will be here. So we got about 25 minutes. Take some pictures, socialize. Once again, congratulations. Thanks for coming. Best of luck to all our student athletes. Thank you very much.